Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Cyclonus. And I have been so anxious to get this guy in my hands. Cyclonus has been one of my all-time favorite figures, favorite characters, ever since I saw him in the 1986 movie. He is just badass. And he looks it. Look at that fantastic artwork right there on the box. And I love how this angle works. That's so cool. Now, taking a more of a quick look at this packaging, Transformers, War for Cybertron Kingdom. You got Cyclonus there in that window. Like I said, the great artwork. There he is in robot mode and vehicle mode. Love the vehicle. Back of the package, we got Cyclonus in robot mode and vehicle mode. Side of the package here, the Kingdom artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get this guy out of this package and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now once you get Cyclonus all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And as usual, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with a trading card. This one is the Autobot Arc on that nice holographic backing there. Of course, this is a sticker also. You peel off the front, which features the Arc flying through space, to now reveal the Arc crashed into the side of Mount St. Hillary. At least I think that's what it's going to be called in this new fiction in 1984. Now, as I said in my Optimus Primal review, I love the fact we're getting cards now, but I wish we got cards showing the artwork from the package of the figure that we bought. I forget which series it was, maybe Combiner Wars that did that. I miss that. These are cool, but I want some cards of the awesome artwork on the package. Cyclonus also comes with his weapon. Now let's take a closer look at the figure himself. Now, to quote my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Bert the Stormtrooper, I love this toy. I haven't stopped messing around with this guy since I picked him up last Saturday. This is a great Transformers figure. And he just looks amazing. He looks like he stepped right out of the 1986 movie. Great collars, great paint applications, great face sculpt, and some fantastic light piping. See that there? I love it when they can do light piping right on a figure. I mean, I just, I can't get over this guy. He looks amazing. And he's really big for a Voyager size figure. Here he is next to Leader Ultra Magnus. Just picked that guy up at Ollie's for 15 bucks. So yeah, great size, great sculpt. He looks amazing. Now articulation, really good articulation for this figure. The heads on a ball joint can look up and down. He does the head tilt. The head can do a complete 360. Arms can do a complete 360 as well, and they can go up and down. And I love the hinge right there. That is really cool. There is a bicep bend, a bicep rotation, and wrist rotation, but that is really, really tight. 
He also has a waist rotation. Legs can go up, back, in and out. There is a knee bend and ankle tilt. So great articulation for this figure. And he cleans up so well. I mean, there is no backpack on him whatsoever. And if you look, no hollowness either. I mean, you got your ports and pegs, but the only real hollow area on the guy is back here behind the thighs, but that's needed for transformation. Now, of course, he does have his weapon as well. Now, the weapon is painted silver over lavender. You can see where that's painted right there on the handle. But what's really neat, this weapon is specifically designed for Cyclonus. See how that blends perfectly? I love that. That is so cool. I dig it. That is a really cool look for Cyclonus. Love the weapon. Now, one complaint is these blast effect pegs. I've never really dug how they've had these pegs on figures pretty much since the Siege line. That's so you can take a blast effect here, peg it on, make it look like he's got shot. But I, I really don't like that. I think they should have left those off Cyclonus. It kind of ruins his smooth look. But other than that, this figure is fantastic. Now let's go ahead and get him transformed into vehicle mode. We're going to take the weapon out of his hand. And since the hand's already done it, you're going to take the hand and flip it up like so. Rotate the fist around. It only goes one way, and I went the wrong way. Flip that around to reveal the thruster. We're going to do that on both hands, just like so. Went the wrong way on that one, too. So now we've got the hands transformed. Now we're going to go down to the legs. And behind the leg, you're going to flip this section up. Take the feet, fold the feet in, flip this section out, and just bring it down over the feet, and it snaps right together. And that pretty much takes care of the legs for now. Now we're going to take the arms and shoulders and pull them apart like so. They're on a double hinge. You want to make sure this is really up out of the way because you're going to spin this whole back section and you don't want these pieces right here, they will catch. But before we do that, I love this part of the transformation. You're going to take the chest and fold it down like so. Actually, that's the back. Take the back, fold it down, flip the head around. Actually, you do take the chest. I'm sorry. Messed with this guy all week. I'm already forgetting stuff. So you're going to open him up like that. Flip this section all the way around. Open the top here, flip this out and over, open this up, and if you have fingernails, which I barely do, you're going to flip out the little nose cone, and then just piece all these back together. And that forms the nose cone of the jet. That is so cool how that works. Now where we have this section, you're going to take and rotate the whole back canopy. But before we do that, we got to get the back legs positioned correctly. So we're going to snap the legs together. There's a tab that goes right in that slot. Line everything up just right. Tab that in. Then you're going to collapse the legs in like so. Now we're going to rotate this part around and that's going to reveal this slot right here where that tab right there is going to go. So get that lined up, get this all squished together. So now we have that going on. Now we're going to take these sections, fold back down over the canopy area, swing the arms around, get in behind the arm, should have done this first. You've got these flaps, bring the flap down and expand the wings. Do this on both sides. Get those wings out and over. Rotate the arms so the tail fin's facing up. Bring the wing up. And there is a slot right there that'll match up with that tab. Tab that in. There we go. Do the same thing over here. 
I should have done those wings first. Get everything lined up. Get your tabs matched up. Everything squeezed together, tabbed together, and there we have Cyclonus in his jet mode. And that looks amazing. I've always loved Cyclonus's vehicle mode. This thing is great. Very well detailed, and just like the figure itself or the robot mode, this jet looks like it flew right out of the screen. Got a translucent canopy right here, and Toy Hacks, if you're listening, there needs to be decals that have Galvatron shaking his fist, just like in the 1986 movie. That would have looked, or that, that will look amazing. I'm getting so ahead of myself right here. But this thing looks awesome. I, I love the whole transformation sequence with the nose cone. Now, right here, these sections do not peg in flush. I have tried over and over again, and I've also seen on Facebook people are having the same issues. So you're going to have a little bit of a gap right here, but the way I look at it, that's an intake. Now, something rare for these modern jet transformers is Cyclonus actually has landing gear. So right here, flip these out, and they will snap right into place. They are very tight though. Then you have one up here on the front. So there's your landing gear. There's no wheels, just molded in wheels. And there we go, a Voyager jet with landing gear. So they should have done that with the Seekers, but oh well, not gonna complain. The vehicle mode, tabs together great. There's not many gaps. Not many spaces. The thing looks amazing. You can also take the weapon and plug the weapon right here on top of the figure, but that kind of ruins the aerodynamic look of Cyclonus, so I don't really care for that. So now let's compare the new War for Cybertron Kingdom Cyclonus with his Generation 1 counterpart. Now, I can definitely see where some more Toy Hex decals can come into play, if you want to have your Kingdom Cyclonus looking more G1 accurate. But man, I love the looks of those two together. I just can't get enough of Cyclonus's vehicle mode. Been a fan of that since 1986. Now, I also forgot to show off something earlier on Cyclonus's waist. He has translucent plastic right here and here, which really adds a unique look to the figure. So sorry I missed that earlier. So there you go, guys. There's one final look at Cyclonus in jet mode. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Cyclonus with Generation 1 Cyclonus, Classics Cyclonus with Nightstick, Combiner Wars Cyclonus, and Combiner Wars Bombshell and Earthrise Skywarp. Let the debate rage on. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Cyclonus is a great Transformer figure. He's got an awesome robot mode, awesome vehicle mode, very fun transformation, a solid figure. I mean, I have no complaints other than my two minor nitpicks, and those don't take away anything from this great figure. This by far is my favorite Transformer from the first wave of Kingdom, and I'm really hoping that Hasbro has now set the bar for these figures and we can only expect greater and greater things. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Cyclonus. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Cyclonus, belong in your collection? Absolutely. I freaking love this guy. This is an amazing figure. Beautiful robot mode beautiful vehicle mode, and I'm probably going to say one of the best Transformers I've bought retail in ages. This is an amazing figure, and to be honest, a steal at the $30 Voyager price, and he's a great size too. You get some bang for your buck with Cyclonus. I couldn't be happier. I absolutely love this figure, you see this one on the shelf, you do not hesitate. You knock people out of the way if you have to, to make sure and add this figure to your collection. 
Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And make sure and stop by this channel tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, Friday, January 15th, where I'm going to be interviewing the one, the only, Stan Bush. I am so excited. I cannot wait. And I hope to see all of you there because we're doing it live. Guys, once again, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!